Linux file system. Now, what is a file system? A file system is basically think of as a closet, as a shelf. Um, when you come in, you change, you put your t-shirts in one shelf, you put your socks in another. So there is a systematic way in your closet where you put all your stuff. The file system in an operating system works exactly the same. The operating system has file system where command files go to a different folder, peripheral uh, devices or files go to a, a different folder, all the programs and applications that you install go to a different folder. So it will be easier, much easier for operating system to access those files. Now, operating system stores data on a disk drives using a structure called file system consisting of files, directories, and information needed to access and locate them. There are many different types of file system. In general, improvements have been made to file system with new releases of operating system, and each new file system has been given a different name. In Linux, we have file system called extension 3, extension 4, XFS. And in Windows, it's the file system called NTFS or FAT. Linux file system stores information in hierarchy of directories and files, meaning there is a first folder, one folder, which is a slash, a root file system, and every other file created within the first file or directory. The file system structure in Linux actually looks like this. As I mentioned, the first file system or first folder always start with slash, which is also referred to as root. Now, please keep in mind, slash root is not as just slash. Slash is the first directory structure where you have to start your navigating your file system. And then underneath, it has different folders. As you can see, it has bin, boot, dev, etc. So this is the the way Linux structure its file system. Or if you compare this Linux file system with Windows, you will see the Windows has also something like that similar structure, but they have given a different name. So let's look at the Windows file system. If you go to Start and you go to Computer, you're going to see your C drive. In this case, our C drive, when we refer to our uh, file system structure diagram in the background, you'll see right here, it, this one has slash. So in Windows, it starts with C. So C or slash is the same, but C in Windows and slash in Linux. So when you double click on Windows C drive, you're going to see all those different folders. Now, why do we have all those different folders? Why not just one folder? And it would be so hard for the operating system to find the right file or directories that you're looking for. So for example, like apps and Dell, then you have Intel folder, all the Intel chip related files are in that directory. The logs, program files, program files are the folder when you install a third party applications, that's where they are downloaded or the files get created. Then we have another one, Program Files x86. That's where the 32-bit related uh, directories are created. And users that are the user directories. Uh, if you click on it, you'll see my directory right here as well. And then, of course, the Windows, anything that related to Windows. So that's why it is predefined by Windows that every time we create a file or every time we install a program, automatically it gets installed into these uh, files and directories. So just like that, when we come here, you'll see here that this is the file system the same way in Linux this file system is created, but of course the naming convention is different. Now let's take a look at our Linux file system. So I'm going to open up uh, Oracle VirtualBox. So let's go to the file system. So as I said, in the Linux file system, it starts with a root. So when you do cd slash, which is root slash, hit enter and then you do ls minus l here you have a list of all the directories and files that are starting with slash 
you could go into each of these directories and you could see how the file system is structured. So I hope you guys got the gist of how the file system looks like and why do we have file system in our operating system.